Keep it coming. Oh, help me, Mel. Give me a sign. There has to be some low life in this dump who can help me kill Mitch. Hey, where's that drink? Are you sure you want to do that? What the hell are you doing here? Hiding out. Yeah, well, that uh, really works. You know, you can't hide from what you did, Dorian. No. Nobody can do that. Not even in a bottle. Well, so now you care about me being sober, huh? I did a terrible thing when I poured that alcohol down your throat. Yeah. But you had your reasons, huh? Now I have mine. He came by today. Mitch? Yeah. Your old pal. He dropped in, and now Jessica, Natalie, Vicky, they were all a wreck by the time he strolled out of there. But he's free to come by and drop in and terrorize them anytime he wants to, thanks to you. So here's to the woman who put Mitch Lawrence back on the street. Here's to your reasons. Charlie, that is vodka. Yeah. You think Vicky's not going to find out that you're drinking it again? I thought you were back on the wagon. Go away, Doria. Do you want to lose Vicky? I cannot believe that Mitch Lawrence is walking around free. I know. Well, you wouldn't have let that happen. No. That's why he doesn't have his job anymore. <laughs> well, if I were mayor, that wouldn't have happened. I think resigning and letting Dorian take over obviously was the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, your family needed you, Vicky. And besides, who in the world would have guessed that Dorian would let Mitch lose? No, it's too much, even for Dorian. If I shot the SOB right between the eyes, I'd be doing everybody on the planet a big favor. I'm no good to Vicky. At least not the way I am now. And how is that? Full of hatred. Oh, I know that feeling. The drinking is not going to bring Jared back, and it's certainly not going to stop Mitch Lawrence. Yeah? You got a better idea? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. Is there we can look up a way to kill Mitch Lawrence without leaving a trail? It's of all the gin joints in all the world. Oh. <laughs> yep. Was a sign. It's fate. You're at the end of your rope. I'm at the end of mine. Yeah, great. Then we can hang together. Indeed. Really? We can solve this problem if we work together, but we can't do that if you crawl into a bottle. Yeah, so what do we do instead? Well, you could kill Mitch Lawrence. You want me to kill Mitch Lawrence, your buddy? He's no friend of mine. Well, you made sure that he went free. Mitch Lawrence is dangerous. He is the most dangerous man I've ever met. Wait a second, he's, he's got something on you? I don't give a rat's ass what he does to me. Well, then it's something else, huh? Your family? Or did he threaten the Kramer girls? Hmm? You repeat this to anybody and I will call you a drunken liar but yes charlie he tried to destroy my family the same way he tried to destroy yours i'm sorry that this is what you have to think about right now mitch is not getting my child if he makes a move towards stacy i will kill him with my bare hands what exactly did mitch do to your family my daughter survived but it was awful Oh, thanks. But I don't want to talk about it. Let's just leave it. Well, then how the hell could you get the guy out of jail? Because I had to buy time with him. Well, he was already in the lockup. Yes, but he was going to get out with or without my help. Bo can't keep him in jail. John McBain can't keep him in jail. Nothing is going to work. And you and I both know it. In fact, 
We may be the only two people in this town not afraid to face the truth. Nothing is going to stop Mitch Lawrence as long as he's alive. So, you want me to do your dirty work and kill him? If we put our heads together, we can find a way to kill Mitch and get away with it. Yeah, or I could go over your head and go straight to the authorities. And what happens then? Best case scenario. Mitch gets thrown in jail. And he gets out again. And it never ends, does it? Unless we put an end to him permanently. By killing him. I want peace. I want my family to be safe the same way you want yours to be. You know, my late husband, Mel, was a recovering alcoholic. He always said things like, uh, stick with the winners, don't quit before the miracle. He'd never forgive me if I helped you drink again. Yeah, well, your, your sudden concern for my uh, drinking is real touching. I have my reasons. Yeah, well, I guess you always do. That's one thing I can trust. And you also always love to see Dickie suffering. Not at Mitch Lawrence's hands. No, oh, but if you could use me to do it, then... Oh, uh, Dickie, Dickie will never hear about this from me. I, 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 I can't talk about you without betraying myself. But something makes me think you'd find a way. Fine. Drink up. Yeah. And you keep drinking until you lose everything, including Vicky. Yeah, what, what, why don't you just drink yourself to death? Or... You could kill Mitch. And you can save everybody that you love. I know, I just, I just, I needed to pull it together. I figured out how to get a grip on it. How to make peace with what happened. God, I hope so. We're all gonna get our lives back now. I promise you.